is some folks wonder whether a reason that people do not take questions about AI safety maybe as seriously as they should is that so much of what they see right now seems very silly. It's people making, you know, little emojis or making little slop images. I think a lot of people are just looking at what's on the market today and thinking like, this is just frivolous. It's stupid. And I don't see the point of it. I think eventually, if the models are good enough, if they're strong enough, they're going to break through. I think the agents, the ones that go off and do things, that's going to be another level of it. I think people will wake up to both the risks and the benefits to a much more extreme extent than they will before over the next two years. Like, I think it's going to happen. I'm just worried that it'll be a shock to people when it happens. The more we can forewarn people, the, the higher the likelihood, even if it's still very low, of a sane and rational response. I do think there is one more dynamic here, though, which is that I think people actually just don't want to believe that this is true, right? People don't want to believe that they might lose their job over this, right? People don't want to believe that, like, we are going to see a complete remaking of the global order. Like, the stuff that, you know, the AI CEOs tell us is going to happen when they are done with their work is an insanely radical transformation. And most people hate even basic changes in their lives. Live. So I really think that a lot of the sort of sort of fingers in the ears that you see when you start talking to people about AI is just they actually just hope that none of this works out. Uh, yeah, I could actually, uh, you know, despite being one of the, few, <laughs> the yeah. few people at the forefront of developing the technology, I can actually relate. 